Good morning traders and this is your Forex day trade setups for today. So um, as mentioned yesterday not much happening we are still in this downward uh, channel we've bounced off the top of the channel and now looks like we're moving down but personally I think we're probably going to hang around here until non-farm payrolls this afternoon. So I'm not looking to, to trade any of this. I think the important thing to do is just to watch what transpires at non-farm payrolls. And um, if we just get back down to the hour, you'll see a lot of um, confusion. Uh, pretty much all the Forex pairs that I've looked at this morning, there's nothing that excites me at the moment. But uh, it's important to, to understand what's going on. And I think this level here, let's just move it down to there. You had an inverse head and shoulders here, which came back, tested, and probably that was the target. Well, that's a target we would get out anyway, top of a previous high up here, as well as the downward trend line. So I think um, this is pretty much the range you're gonna be stuck in at the moment. Uh, what I would be doing though, is watching for the volatility, because the volatility is always gonna happen with non-farm payrolls. So firstly is this level to the downside. So that's 116.867. If that can, if we get price gets back down here and we can hold that, um, I would expect a bit of a bounce to the upside. But right now, this moving average on the eight hour is going to hold up price. So that's pretty much what you're gonna see. Uh, you'll probably find if you drop down to a lower time frame, you'll probably be able to, to get some scalping done um, off the levels, but uh, that's not for me, it's not something that I'm looking for. I'm just waiting for non-farm payrolls to see what transpires at the moment. And what I'm looking for is either a break, uh, which is going to, so a break up is going to represent a weaker weaker dollar. And uh, there's a lot of confusion, as I said yesterday, whether we, we're looking for a weaker dollar or a stronger dollar going forward. So right now we, we're just in limbo. So a move to the downside is going to be a stronger dollar. Okay, now it's a 50-50 call right now. There's no real sentiment, I suppose it's just sentiment that's driving it. There's no real um, data or um, market dynamics that's actually going to, to drive us at the moment. So for me, this level down here is an important level to watch, 116. 867 I would suspect we bounce off that move back to the top of this channel and that is going to be during uh, during the lead up to non-farm payrolls after non-farm payrolls expect a lot of volatility big moves up big moves down until we find our feet and then it's going to be a case of going with that trend so my advice to you on non-farm payrolls is give that once the data is out give it 15 15 to 30 minutes and then have a look at where your levels are and you're looking to trade off those levels. Remember, overall trend here is up, but right now this could very well be a trend reversal to the downside. And it does also look like that. Okay, so this rejection off this, you can see how big this level is here. This rejection here, 117.682, also is looking like an opportunity to, to short. Not that I wanna do that before non-farm panels, but that's kind of the setup that we have. Um, we are making sort of lower lows and uh, lower highs, and this setup here is pretty important. So what I want to see is probably a move back down to the, the downside here. Yeah. That's kind of my play at the moment on this. But I want to see, I don't want to jump in the middle here. I want to see it, if it was off that level, it would have been an opportunity. So right now we're going to move to the downside, move back up to the upside, probably test the underside here and start rolling. But again, I'm waiting for non-farm payrolls. Not gonna jump in until the volatility of non-farm payrolls is done, but I am favoring the shorts there. Um, US dollar, Japanese yen. Uh, this channel is still intact. We pointed out well, for two days now, and uh, it does look like the moving average is holding. It's pointing to the upside. We do have this bit of a range bar here that appeared yesterday, but that's just the confusion before non-farm payrolls and the dates that was out yesterday. If we come down to the hour, uh, I'm sort of favoring the longs, but we obviously have this area of congestion right here where we are now. So we need to get above that 105, 677, get above, test it, and then move the upside. Again, same scenario, 
waiting for non-farm payrolls. Not going to make any decisions on this until after non-farm payrolls, but I am favouring the longs there. Um, British pound, US dollar, uh, also dollar pair, so also sit on the sidelines here. Yeah, I don't like this massive range bar that we got yesterday. And you'll see most of the currency pairs have got the same thing. So nice start of the move down and then a massive move up, then a massive move down. Uh, big up, big up, big up, big down, big confusion. There's uh, another way to explain this. So if we look at the, the previous two pairs, then what we should be seeing is a short on the British pound. There's also legal action happening uh, against Britain uh, by the European Union as they are breaching their Brexit uh, deal that they put on the table. So that could also add fuel to the fire. It is Friday, so you know, the only thing that's really going to drive it is non-farm payrolls as far as I'm concerned. But this could very well be a continuation to the downside. Uh, a bit more messy than the other two. So I think uh, of the $3 pairs here, US dollar, Japanese yen, and Euro USD, those are the two I'd watch this one. I think I'll stay away from. Um, New Zealand dollar, Japanese yen. Let's just start with the eight hour. We moved up above this level. Remember, we're looking to see what would transpire at this level here. And that, nothing transpired. And we basically decided to find another level, which is, you can see there's a fractal, there's a fractal, um, there's a couple there, and then you've got this close here. Well, that low there is a fact, not a fractal, but there's a piercing of that line, and then there you've got a close of a bar on that line. So some significance there. Looking at this price action now, I would expect this thing to move to the downside. Okay, now... If we just look at the hour, you can see strong move up, now consolidation. And this is typical of a trend reversal as well. So the trend has been up on the hour. Right now we're ranging. What we're looking for is a break of 70.038, break down, retest, and then start rolling. That's the opportunity we want to be in for a short here. So that's worth watching today for a short. Um, but just watch out that we don't continue in this... Uh, this fashion here but I think that's a pretty good rejection that's a triple top there um, so that should give you a move to the downside equal to the height of this range okay and uh, J British pound Japanese yen yesterday we spoke about this range we popped up above it came back into it now we're still hovering in the middle uh, this is something which I will stay away from today I really don't like that uh, big up big down big up big down big confusion and at the moment, we are hovering below the moving average. I'm going to want to see us get below this range. So 135440 before I start making decisions. Uh, problem is that we've got this level here of 134652, which is going to hold up price. So not really something that I want to be paying attention to um, at the moment. Aussie dollar, US dollar it is looking like a rejection off this level. So, um, which would indicate towards a strong dollar. Okay, so there's a lot happening at the moment. There's basically, let's ignore the, the British pound at the moment, but the euro, the yen, and the Aussie dollar uh, versus the US dollar are all pointing to a strong US dollar. So, I think there is a level, very messy level in the middle here which we'd need to get below. So 071451, we need to get below that and then retest it for a move to the downside. Okay, if we look at the hour, uh, nothing's really changing. You can see we have made a lower high there and we are busy making a lower low here. So everything resides on whether, let me just move, that one down there is our new level there so what i want to see you see it lines up with the moving average i want to see us move up to that and test it that also just for interest sake would be this trend line test okay so any bearish price action off 071745 uh, is going to be an indication to a short but again the same rules apply as the euro and the japanese yen not interested in trading this in the European session, will wait for non-farm payrolls. So there's quite a few decent setups uh, pointing towards a stronger dollar 
for non-farm payrolls. Okay, last one is British pound, Aussie dollar. Uh, I think I can say about this, but we've got an eight hour range bar. Don't like those. Um, that's pretty much big up, big down again. And probably of all the pairs, by the looks of things, the worst. So big down, big up, big down, big up. Um, complete confusion here. This level here is the one that we, I would assume, is what they're trying to defend. You see you got above it, then below it. So we're going to have to wait and see what transpires here. Right now the one hour trend is down. Okay. So what I would assume is 179.829. Let's see if that can hold. If that can, if that can hold, this trend is down at the moment on the one hour, then we're looking for a move to the downside. Um, on the eight hour, you can see we had a strong move up pretty strong move down and that is indicating something completely different because we've come back down and almost tested this level okay so if it is going to move to the downside this is the level that's going to hold us up which is 178433 I actually don't like this there's um, two conflicting views uh, for longs and shorts okay and we could argue that these are higher lows at the moment. There's our lowest low, um, lower low, and we're gently moving down. Exhaustion moves the downside, back up the moving average, and now we're making higher lows. And we've also made a higher high here. So, yeah, I think if we get above this area here, one seven nine eight two nine, and hold it, and then start moving up, I think I'll be taking longs there. But um, it's actually probably worthwhile that's probably a worthwhile move that rather than looking for the move to the downside just want to have a, a look on a, a three hour here there are very lots of conflicting noise here so from your three hour to your eight hour it's indicating that you look should be looking for shorts i think four hours is going to be the same yeah looking for shorts uh eight hour everything hinges about what happens here but this could also be when I mean, you can see the buyer stepping in here so it could also be that we need to be looking for longs anyway total confusion so in other words we stay away until we get a confirmation of what's going on okay so what i'll be looking for really for longs is a break and hold above 179829 um, if we reject this level then i think i'd rather go with the trend and move to the downside uh, that's the line in the sand for me at the moment and we'll have to wait and see what transpires this morning okay and uh, as i said there is noise around the pound so it might well be worth your while just watching this during the, the european open to see what's going to transpire so this morning it's the only one that i'd really be watching um yeah i think of the pound pairs pound aussie dollars the one that i'd be watching rather than any of the others but it is a 50-50 call right now, so you're going to have to wait for confirmation. Okay, uh, that's it for me today. Not much happening in forex markets, but that is to be expected on a non-farm payrolls day. So um, let's just wait and see what transpires this afternoon. Anyway, hope it helps you, and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Cheers for now.